believe we should be live if um if i can believe youtube so what i'm doing here is live streaming to youtube without actually using my computer so everything is going from my phone so the pico 4 supports hdmi out um by its usb so i've got a, H a usb c to hdmi cable that is then going into a capture card, USB capture card. They actually make these with the USB type C end. So this is the capture card itself, and then the cable goes into USB type C. That's then going into my phone. And my phone is using USB Camera Pro, which allows a live push of what you send um, or what your screen's displaying. Um, live push to YouTube Live, which is pretty cool. Um, the only problem I've got, well, I won't say a problem, is that I can work around this for now, as you can tell. Um, the HDMI feed of the Pico doesn't contain the microphone. So the microphone is actually from this mobile phone. It's a setting within this application that you can mix the microphone input from your phone with the feed, the audio feed of the actual headset uh, recording. So, yeah, it's a bit of a workaround for now. What I could do with that is actually use, I mean, if, if you don't have a 3.5mm port, you can use a hub, but I've got a 3.5mm port on my phone here, so I can actually use a microphone from this um, and just wear a microphone, so I get decent microphone audio with this setup. So I'm going to do a quick test to actually do proof of concept here. Um, I will just do anything for now. I'll do racket and extra something. Something I know I can actually um, load of game volume. Because the game volume is obviously going to drown out um, the audio. There's no, there's no real way to balance this. It's not like you're using a PC and you have all that fine control. Um, you're going to need to use games that have audio adjustment. Why would this game not kind of? Why is the recenter on this game? Never mind. All right, let's turn the music off. Turn sound effects down. Voice chat makes no odds. Um, whatever. So, I'm not sure what's going on with this game. Why can't I not recenter? Whatever. Okay. Um, let's do solo. Actually, arcade. That's the better one. I see. And I have to factor in that. Because my audio is going through the mobile phone itself that's in front of me, I can't really distance myself away. Like I said, I need to sort out a microphone solution. But this is proof of concept. Um, I'm using. It's still really loud in the headset, even though I've got this stuff um, turned down, so I hope you can still hear me. But the, the YouTube settings that I've got is low latency. The minute I did try it ultra low, and the quality um, of the recording was a bit naff when I had it set to 720p on the, on the capture card. So this is now 1080p, 30 frames a second on the capture card, and uh, just normal low latency for YouTube Live. So with any luck, this should look okay, I would imagine. I um, obviously don't do live streams, I'm not a content creator, but if I was going to do something like this, I don't want to be tied down to the PC. Um, and there's currently no live streaming solutions within uh, the Pico OS. So this is one solution if you want to do some live streaming on your Pico, you don't need a PC, you do need that USB Capture Pro app, and the Pro will get rid of the the adverts and stuff on there. Um, you can use a free one if you have a network ad blocker, but um, from what you can see in the recording it should look okay. I don't believe it should bring up the overlays on screen that I can see. Um, I will just cancel that on the screen, but I think you should see just the feed of the video. Um, you can overlay your own um, stuff in, into on top of the video. With this application, you can upload um, images and put text over the top of the uh, top of the video. It's not like a, a transitional thing, but if you want a static logo or something, you can do that. Um, yeah, this should technically be okay. I mean, the HDMI feed, um, I can show this in the headset, the HDMI feed is not affecting gameplay at all. So I'm not screencasting, I'm not having to mirror over the network, it's, it's a cable coming out of the headset and quite literally through the adapter is plugging into the phone. So yeah, this is pretty cool. 
Um, I'm not sure if anyone else has messed around with this yet. I did sort of um, give another YouTuber a sort of tip to using the HDMI feed, and he's done that into his PC by OBS, so he can use some stabilization. Because, as I understand, um, looking around in first person isn't the most comfortable thing to view in VR. But yeah, this is one solution until Pico can somehow implement live streaming direct from the headset. Um, and as you can probably hear from my phone, uh, my phone is giving me a low battery warning. So that is the other thing I need to work out with this uh, with this setup. If you're going to do this over any prolonged time, you need to have some charge going into your phone at the same time. So you probably need to use a, a USB hub with um, PD charge. So you can charge your phone and have the data connected with the with the data being that USB capture card because it does absolutely drain your battery. So one solution, guys. Um, seems to work okay for me. I'm not a content creator, so obviously I won't use this, but it's just giving a tip out there. If you do need to use this sort of setup, then uh, yeah, you can just go ahead and use this application. As soon as I go into the settings, it's going to stop the feed. That's just how this application works. Um, but you can tell I've got a little green light. You might be able to tell I've got a little green light on the uh, phone here, which is telling me it's using the, the microphone of the phone. Um, yeah, it works. It works all right. Um, so all different images, adjustments you can do. I don't know if that's going to happen in real time. I'll do that just to, in the feed, if that's going to come up in the in the feed itself. If I can get out of the adjust menu. So yeah, if this changes everything, then you know it's all working. The only thing you have to do um, is schedule, set up, set up a live stream. You can do this in the web browser of the phone. Set up a live stream on YouTube, just schedule a stream. And then um, you can either use, I, would, I wouldn't really say use a desktop PC. It's easier for me to do, use a desktop PC so I can keep an eye on it without um, switching the apps. But it shouldn't matter if I switch out of this application because it runs in the background. Um, so the stream will keep going. But yeah, you can have a, a browser on your phone on the YouTube studio set up your stream there and then basically when you're um, when you're live in this you just have to go back into the web browser just click uh, go live and then you're sorted but for me the only thing that I come up against initially was this uh, window up here was just a, a black circle it would show that there's got like an excellent connection like the the actual stream is good but it wouldn't show anything in here and I think that is either something on the app or YouTube itself. Um, I did play around a few settings. This seems to be working as the app comes now. Um, I am forcing H.265, so it's using H.265 codec. I've not changed any of the bitrate settings. I don't know whether that was the thing that actually caused it not to work. So yeah, I can I can pull up my settings if anyone, if anyone else struggles against uh, getting a, vi a video feed up onto YouTube, but it works. Um, it's pretty cool. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can tell I'm not a live streamer. Cheers, guys.